Hey, today we're going to be doing side chaining in um, Reason 8 is what we're going to be doing side chaining in. Yes, Reason 8. Um, so, how this works is you need some sort of signal, some sort of stereo signal, maybe mono, I'm not 100% sure, to play whenever you have like a kick or snare or wherever you want side chain right so i'm going to use a patch of white noise unfortunately you can't hear it right now so uh because like i can't i don't know how to configure my things and this is using my my that audio over there and i can see it but it won't quite let me um change it because I don't know how. I'm not that experienced. Um, so, yeah. Until then, we're going to do this. You don't, It's not very important to hear. So, basically, what you'll do is you'll set up a, a sound. So, I have this decaying, this really fast decaying white noise. And then I'm going to, once you've done that, you want to add the utility audio merger and splitter. I'm gonna add four, go to the back. So whatever it is, it'll have like a left and right out. So I'm gonna just turn those off so there's none for me. And then I'm going to hook them up to the spider audios here. Um, Yeah, you can do them like anyway. So I'm gonna do like that. So I set it up to like the out, the input. Now it's gonna go to these four channels and split it. So basically every three of, basically every spider audio you put in here is like three inputs you can send the side chain to. Um, because what you wanna do is you wanna grab the first one and send it to the next one. And then rinse and repeat like this. So now it's gonna go, so now it's gonna go from the first spider audio to the second to the third to the four. But what it's going to be doing is it's going to be splitting it every time. So these three these three sets of outputs on each one will also send signals. And then I'm going to drag this one all the way over here. And I'm going to do this. That was surprisingly clean. This is a pretty clean way to do it because you have access to the inputs, but really you can just right click on them and send them to where you want them to go as well. And then if you press K, uh, you won't really have to look at them unless they, they directly apply. So here, now we've got um, 48, no, I, I counted, we have 24 sends now. So then if we make, so then we'll trigger it with this MIDI down here or whatever your trigger is. And then we will create an instrument or something. We'll like say send one of these. And then, so I like to keep like buses or things that are full song relevance, not per instrument on the side, so on this side. Um, the yeah kind of like that so like this so well then what i'll do is i have the instruments that or the the objects that don't get used as often on the side and then like instruments that i use get on the side so i put like group channels and stuff over here too but the side chain is a good thing to put over here and then i will so i have a sound here and if i um go to the mixer now Sorry, hang on. So there's two ways to route this. Let's route this first. So if we have the the thing, you'll have this instrument like mix rack thing. So what we're gonna do is you can take any of these inputs and you can either um hang on. <laughs> so what you can do is you can grab one of these things. If you grab the top one, it usually like if I grab the bottom one and put it where I want it to go, it'll just bring the bottom one in. But if I bring the top one, it'll uh, just automatically put the right one in as well. 
because like the left is always the mono so if you put the mono input in it always puts in the right one so if you put in the dynamics it turns on the key option or you can turn it off again but that's one way to connect it is just like flat out drag it across or you can right click it go to vesper mix channel and click on click on input l if you put right it's just going to put the right one down so and it's going to do it from the left one too which is just going to invert your audio so do it like that and then it's done so now if we go to the mixer like this we have this one lane and this is the vesper so this is like the synth that we were side chaining that we want to side chain so we scroll up to the top to where it has dyn on the right here um, there's a section here for the compression so you can turn on your compressor at the top and then you have these options the way I do this is I put the threshold down to like the lowest I put on the fast and then I use the release and the ratio to determine how fast the side chains go and it's done to ear and then every time you have your note down here play it will automatically uh, side chain your instrument for you you can set it up you can set up buses and route things to um, a side chain bus and have everything go to the same bus so everything has the same side chain or you can do it per instrument it's up to you and that's how you side chain thanks for watching